It's Monday, you guys, which means it's time for another grocery haul. Hey guys, Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom, tips for all shades of mom life. And in today's video, I am back to share with you my weekly grocery haul and meal plan. So this week I went to Target and to Walmart and I was only hoping to just go to Target. I was hoping everything I needed I was gonna be able to get from there. I usually go to Target every other month because I love to capitalize on their pull-up deal. So I usually go right when the kids are ready and it was just about that time. So I headed over to Target and I figured while I was there, I would just get whatever other grocery items I needed for the house, which was pretty much just ice cream and toppings for Jake's little birthday gathering, and then just a few other additional food items. But Target isn't always the best deal for those kinds of things. There are some specialty items that my kids enjoy that I can only get at Target. So while I'm there, I make sure to grab them. But for the regular everyday to day things like the ice cream and all that toppings and stuff, Target is just just not the better deal and I knew I would be better off at Walmart so I did end up going there to get pretty much most of the food items so I'm gonna take you down to the counter I'll show you what I spent $193 on at Target $72 at Walmart and then we'll get into this week's meal plan all right you guys just a half a counter full and that is $193 from Target but you know, it kind of is what happens when you go into Target, right? You usually get sucked in, Target tells you what to buy, but I think when push comes to shove for what I got, the money is there, but that is also why you're going to see another haul right after this for Walmart, because some stuff is just so much cheaper there that it was still worth it for me to go to Walmart and pick up those things. So I'll start over here in my little grocery store section since I know you guys are here for the groceries and some of the things that I pick up are these oh snap things every single time that I go to Target. I do find the Dilly Bites which are just a small pickle chips. I find those at Sam's Club in the big box. It's a great deal. It's $8.99 for 12 packs so it is insane as opposed to paying $1.25 at Walmart but they only sell the Dilly Bites and Jake likes all the different flavors. His absolute favorite is the Carrot Cuties so it literally is pickled carrot sticks and he loves them and they were on sale for 89 cents so I actually got him four of them. These three and this back one are the carrots and then I also got him some of the cool beans. He likes the string beans that are pickled but not the snap peas. They have snap peas. He's not a fan of those and then this is just like one giant huge dill pickle. So he loves them and he has a pack of them every day with his lunch. So I love being able to pick them up and they were on sale for 89 cents. So it was a no brainer for me to go ahead and grab those. I picked up ham and Swiss cheese. Need this to make the Sizzler Malibu chicken. When I put that on the meal plan, I got Swiss cheese, but I needed that for another recipe as well, and I completely didn't buy ham. So I don't know how I thought I was gonna be able to cook that recipe. So this needs to be used tonight. And then I got three of the Sour Patch Kids. I know that I can get them for 97 cents at Walmart, but they were 99 cents here. And then with your 5% red card, it actually ends up coming out to be a couple of cents cheaper. So I would have gotten all of the candy from there, but they really didn't have a whole lot of choices. And I wanna be able to set up various different boxes for the table for Jake's movie night for his birthday so that the three of them can choose whatever that they want. So I got regular Sour Patch Kids and then two of the Sour Watermelon. These were on sale two for six and then with the five percent this ends up being even cheaper than Walmart and I think these bags are bigger here for some reason. I don't feel like the bag from Walmart is this big and they don't sell the everything on the app. So unless I go inside, I can never even get the everything pretzel crisps in the regular grocery pickup. So I picked those up. I thought that was a good deal. I even put those in my snack boxes or if I put the little laughing cow cheese, I'll eat it with that or some cream cheese or something. I like that for a snack. And then I picked up some chips for Jake's party. I got the Terra Original Sea Salt Real Vegetable Chips, picked those up, and then they had Zaps. 
a whole display of zaps now they didn't have the voodoo chips but they had the crawfish ones which are super hard to find i don't like those although i did buy a bag of them my goddaughter was with me and she loves crawfish and stuff like that so she took that bag home with her i was like don't even open that bag of crawfish smelling chips in the house so she took that bag home with her but they also had the pickle ones the cajun gator taters cajun dill gator taters they're a little bit of a spicy pickle chip they are absolutely amazing but they're super hard to find here so i was really excited to see those i know jake's gonna like that out on the table and then my favorite was the voodoo but this is called evil eye and if you read on the back it talks about beware of the evil eye the famous new orleans voodoo queen marie so this is like the opposite of the voodoo chip so you have the voodoo chip and then its sister is the evil eye so this sounds really interesting to give this a try i think my goddaughter will like it so she'll be able to munch on these for the party and then i can snag a chip and try it because you guys know how i love my zaps chips so got those this is the only place I can find these. I don't know where else to look. I've tried my HEB, all the Walmarts, any of the local grocery stores cannot find the mini rolls of Baby Bell and they are Maya's absolute favorite. So when I go to Target, I snag her a bag. So I got her that. And then of course, I grab Stonyfield yogurt every single time that I see it. And this is the strawberry beet berry, but super expensive at Target. That was $5.29 for those four pouches, but is what it is. My kids love it. And then this, is super cute i only grabbed a couple of things from the dollar spot just because it's literally at the door when you walk in and this was five dollars and since i've been redecorating the house since we're staying here i thought this was cute i think maybe i'll put it on the fridge when i do my letter board and stuff and i didn't even pull the tab haha <laughs> just so i can show you guys what it would look like when it's all lit up and i have tons of these lanterns all over the house they're my absolute favorite so i think that's gonna look super cute on top of the fridge and then I got this sign in the dollar spot it was five dollars also and this is reversible so it says first day of school on this side and then on the other side it says last day of school and I think this is so much better than the chalkboard ones even though I have really awesome chalkboard markers from the Dollar Tree I still feel like I don't want to have to erase and rewrite especially since the first day of school this year is gonna be so weird. So I figured this is universal for every one of my kids. All of my three of them can stand together this year and take their first picture. All three of my kids on the first day of school, oh my gosh, uh, can stand with this. And then I could take individual shots of them. And usually you post pictures on social media anyways. So you're gonna put a tag like kindergarten, first grade. So when you look back on it, you'll still know or I don't know we can edit it in or maybe I can get little numbers to just stick right here but I liked it and I like that it's reversible so I can just use it for birth both times of the year and these I picked up for my husband he was a cowboy fan before we moved to Texas he's been a Cowboys fan his whole life we are big football lovers in this house and we always buy you know each other football stuff for holidays and all that and as many t-shirts i just bought him the cowboys golf shirt for father's day all the stuff that he has he does not own one pair of cowboys shorts and these were on sale for 20 bucks and i love that they're cut off at the bottom like sweatpants they're thin so he could still wear them now when it's hot it would be like being in lounge pants but still being cool like temperature wise while wearing comfy pajama pants and it just has the simple star so it's not like a big logo or the words it's just a little simple star so I thought these were really nice they were on sale for 20 bucks and he doesn't own a pair of sh uh, Dallas shorts so I picked those up and then I picked some stuff up for my boy since his birthday is this coming up week and you guys look at the shirt my kid's gonna go bonkers for this okay he is going to love it you know him and his pop tarts and let me just show you this shirt so let me pop it open i believe it was i'll pop the price up but i believe it was i don't know 16.99 maybe or 12 i'm not sure but i didn't even care what it was it is all jake and what's awesome is on the back it has 
all the different pop tarts and there's the whole top row is what he eats that's like the cookies and cream and stuff the s'mores the hot fudge sundae these are just the only ones he really doesn't eat are those outside like fruity ones but he's gonna go crazy for this so picked him up that and then he is a huge friends person you guys will see or you might have already seen no probably not yet i'm not sure if you guys saw that yet but if you saw anything for his birthday i'm not sure when what video is going out some of it is friends themed he absolutely loves friends so his cake topper and stuff is the friends theme so i saw these pajama pants and picked them up he put pajama pants on his birthday list and he also put a hamper and this was in the dollar spot i mean it's seven dollars that's right there you go seven dollars but I think it's very manly and it was pretty nice size you can see it's the one that kind of has the string around it and it opens up and folds in and they had one open so I was able to see what it looks like and I think that's perfect too because I'm going to pop this open and put all of his birthday presents inside of this use this like the gift bag so I thought that would be a good idea so I got that for him and then I needed gift cards for some gifts obviously so I picked up $25 to Chipotle and then $25 to Target so that is gifts like I said that I needed and then these were in the dollar spot as well and they were three dollars and mason's favorite color is green and maya is pink and i told them that this is going to be like their quote unquote backpack being that they're not starting school up here and we have to do distance learning even no matter what no choices we're starting with distance learning in the morning they still have to be in front of the computer by eight o'clock so instead of getting up in the morning and getting your backpack and leaving to go out to the bus they're going to get up in the morning and get their supply boxes so they these are pretty deep for the three dollars i think that'd be awesome so they literally can put their crayons their markers their glue sticks and being that it's pre-k and first grade they're still going to need those colored pencils and the scissors and all that stuff so i have tons of stuff to put right there and then they're like bigger notebooks and that kind of stuff to put right there and then the good nights you guys this was my reason for going in i usually go every couple of months to target and do the good night deal whether it's spend 50 and get a 10 dollars gift card or spend 100 and get a 20 dollars gift card but they were not running that deal they did have a three dollar off coupon for the good nights so i still paid under what i would have paid at walmart so it was still a better deal to go to Target, but I only got one box, and his has less than Maya's, which is why I always run out of his size first. So I just went ahead and picked these up for him, and then by the time he's out, Maya will be ready again, and then we'll try Target again, and maybe they'll have that deal, or at least still have the coupons where it's better off to shop there. But that was it for my Target haul, you guys, almost $200. But now I'm gonna roll you into the footage for what we got at Walmart. All right, you guys, I told you you were getting another grocery haul, and here is what you got. Got a couple of things down here at the bottom, and what you see here up top, and this was $72, I believe, so not too, too bad, but still really more than I wanted to spend, but we originally went there to see if we can see what kind of desks that they had in stock, and they didn't have anything that we liked, so we're going to have to stick with the one that we found online. But I made Jake come with me. He looked at everything, just didn't see anything that he liked, and he prefers what we found online. So that's what we're going to go for, but I'll start over here. So I did get a yellow sticker thing of muffins. This is just the Great Value Chocolate Chip Muffins, but these freeze really well, so I'll just pack these individually, throw them in the freezer, and then they defrost super quickly. So they'll work for Daryl's lunches or a quick breakfast for the kids. Picked up some bananas. We were out of those. Jake saw these and it was hard for me to say no to anything he asked for today since today is his birthday. So he saw the dark chocolate fudge covered cream Oreos. So I picked him up those. And then I did get a variety more of that candy. This way everybody has their own individual box. We have Jake, his two party guests, and then myself, Daryl, Paul, and the two little kids. I won't eat any candy but at least there'll be boxes set up so it'll look more like that concession stand look that I was going for. So I got Reese's Pieces, Skittles, Butterfinger Bites, 
bunch of crunch, raisinets, and Swedish fish. And I actually think the Reese's Pieces and the bunch of crunch I'm going to take out of the boxes and put for the ice cream bar. So speaking of the ice cream bar, I went ahead and got some hot fudge. You know you need some hot fudge for a Sunday bar. And then this I actually just grabbed for the kids. I've not ever seen this before. It's $4. I thought that was kind of pricey, but maybe not for one that lights up. So I've never seen a light up bath bomb before but if they're good and they work then this will be a great stocking stuffer for both the kids because they had pink and green and orange and yellow I believe so various different colors I went with this galaxy looking bluish purple one because I figured it was universal for both kids so we'll see if they like these if they do then I'll definitely go back and grab some and put them away for Christmas and then I got some candles of course I got blue candles Jake picked those out and there's exactly 16 in there and then we got him the one and the six so he'll have all the candles he needs for tonight's cake and I'll probably reuse some of them for the ice cream bar although I did get toppers to go in the containers of ice cream but I got some cayenne pepper I needed that and then I also got some waffle cones I think it was Shauna over at the Dickinson Homestead who I saw get these Krispy Kreme donut bites. I'm pretty sure it was her. And this is what she got. They had so many different flavors. All these new Krispy Kreme bites are all like a new thing. They had crullers, all different kinds. But they had a limited time strawberry, which is right up my husband's alley. So I picked that up for him. And then here are two of the ice creams that we picked out for the ice cream bar for Jake's party. So I got the dairy-free salted caramel cluster and then Jake wanted lucky charms go figure so I picked that up for him running out of flour maybe I would have made it till we did a big grocery haul but probably not did I mention a gallon of milk I don't think I did that definitely wasn't going to make it until the next grocery haul. So got a gallon there. And then like I said, I got the flour and then I got some buttermilk. I got some carb balanced tortillas because they never seem to be available on the app, but they were in the store and we needed some. So I picked those up. I also picked up cookie dough ice cream for the ice cream bar. And then Jake saw the just strawberry outshine bar. So again, I couldn't really say no to anything he asked for. And then they had Scott's. So I picked up the 20 pack because the great value ones that we got in the last grocery haul, they're almost gone already. So I knew they were going to go super fast. I liked them, believe it or not. I didn't think they were as bad as I thought they were going to be, but we still went through it super fast. I mean, it's only been about two and a half weeks and we're only down to two rolls out of the eight. So I needed to get something that was going to withstand us a little bit longer. So I got the 20 pack of Scott's and then I got this and I absolutely absolutely love it now I want to get something a little bit bigger but when I went to Target I saw one that was just like this one a little bit taller and it was $50 and then one this size and it was $25 and this was 15 by the Better Home and Gardens that is a flameless candle that's inside I just love the nautical rope and if I can find a bigger one and a welcome sign and a new wreath that's what I'm going to put on the front porch I literally have no summer decor whatsoever so um, I'm going to grab those and that should be good so that was it for this time's grocery haul you guys it's now time for the meal plan all right, you guys, so I am hiding in my room away from the kids. Let's see how long I can make it without being interrupted. So I want to share with you guys the meal plan for Monday, July the 27th through Sunday, August the 2nd. It still blows my mind how fast the time flies that we are in August. So for today is barbecue chicken bombs with french fries. I have some potatoes left over, so I'm going to do my own homemade potato wedges. And then the barbecue chicken bombs is a recipe I found on Pinterest, so I'll I'll link it in the description box for you but it's a cream cheese filled jalapeno that you wrap a chicken cutlet around and then wrap bacon around that and put barbecue sauce on it and bake it in the oven it sounds so delicious so that's what we're doing for tonight and then tomorrow for taco tuesday we're doing copycat mexican pizzas and some nachos for wednesday our hump day of the week i'm doing philly cheese steak sliders with macaroni and cheese now because i made this meal plan for 
the whole month and wrote out every single week and then switched some things around. I kind of made a boo-boo by moving things, so I'm still going to have to move things around this week because for the hump day, we're doing the Philly cheesesteak sliders, which is the shaved steak that I got from Trader Joe's, and I'm going to put them on King's Hawaiian Rolls. That's right up my husband's alley. He's going to love that, and I wrote mac and cheese with that, but then on Thursday, we're supposed to do Big Mac Sloppy Joe's, which was another recipe that you guys suggested to me, and I wrote mac and cheese, so I'm going to have to switch this stuff around a little bit. I might do the Big Mac salad. It's pretty much a Big Mac Sloppy Joe, except you put it over a bed of lettuce and add all the toppings that you would onto a regular Big Mac, like the red onion and the tomatoes and stuff like that. I might do that in a big salad bowl. This way we can use up the rest of our lettuce before it goes bad. And then I wouldn't do a side dish with it. So I might do that just to kind of, you know, accommodate my mishap of putting that back to back. So I would never do mac and cheese two days in a row. And then on Friday, we're going to do pizza night. I love those. Those are super easy, especially when we're do using that flatbread from Trader Joe's. And I have my own sauce in the freezer and mozzarella. So that'll be super easy to just do our own pizza night. And then on Saturday, I'm going to do that crock pot lo mein. And I'm going to do some cream cheese rangoons and then the almond cookies. And hopefully my computer won't crash this time and I'll be able to share that with you guys in the next meal prep video. So we have that. And then on Sunday, we're gonna do country fried chicken. I really love country fried steak, but I would prefer it to be like country fried chicken. So I'm gonna make that. And then I wrote mashed potatoes and corn. I'm not sure if that's gonna stay or what exactly that I'm going to do yet because that is the end of my potatoes. I may have to do a small little grocery haul in between for here, but I have enough in my fridge to go a whole nother week into August, which I knew was gonna happen because I ended up with some extra chicken. I have some extra sausage, but I may need to do what I always do and just grab some extra produce and stuff. So stay tuned for that for next Monday. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you guys are new here, I do share a grocery haul and meal plan every Monday here on the channel. I love you guys all so much. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.